Cardano sitting at number nine in market cap right now. I wanted to start the video by just some blunt data. Avalanche just flipped Cardano to number eight. And look at this. Avalanche up 30% in the last seven days. Cardano down 15%. What is going on here? A lot of ADA holders getting discouraged out there. In this video, I want to dissect and break down the data and really give you a different perspective. A zoomed out view of probably what you're... Uh, probably very opposite of what you're seeing right now on, you know, crypto social media like X or YouTube. So hit the subscribe, hit the like, and let's just jump into it. I'm going to have kind of a candid chat about this entire situation. This might be a little bit longer of a video, so feel free to hit the timestamps. I'm going to do charts, really dissect even the daily chart, the daily move, and the importance of even the next couple of weeks for Cardano as it relates to this cycle compared to last cycle. So please feel free if you want to go right to that, hit the timestamps. But let's just jump into the video. I wanted to start with the blunt reality. Avalanche just flipped Cardano. And I want to start here. Let me first just say, from my perspective, covering crypto for years, this story is the story that just unfolds every, every time. That is to say, crypto is flipping each other. How often we see one go from number 10 to number 5 or 4 and then 4 back down to 8. They're always fluctuating. I just want to say that right off the bat. And, and analyzing markets by just being like, man, you know what? Solana just, just cruised to the upside, just flipped BNB. There's a lot of headlines right now. We're going to start talking about Solana is going to flip Ethereum. This is a story that I have seen play out time and time again throughout cycles. But let's look at this. Let's, let's not look at it from a surface light, light level. Let's look at it from a zoomed out perspective. So very simply... I want, to, I want to give you a sense of where we are, and I do this a lot, where we are in the cycle. This is Bitcoin, bull market doors, the roadmap for altcoins. This is an indicator that I use right here, that rectangle. It's a Fibonacci, lower high Fibonacci, a very simple indicator. Every cycle has kicked off basically the parabolic start to the bull run, altcoin season, whatever you want to call it. So basically, if we're looking at where we are this cycle, we're kind of right here. And I'll, I'll mention this move happening way earlier than any cycle before, right? But right now, we're right around here, December 2020, Bitcoin broke those bull market doors, and also we have all-time highs, Bitcoin breaking all-time highs. That's where we are. And we're going to dissect the ADA charts in this video, but for the sake of even looking at things like coin market cap and where ADA is in market cap, it's important to note, December 2020, or December 2020 is, is about where we are in the cycle this time around. So we go back and we're like, all right, Cardano is sitting at number nine. It's being outperformed. And we're going to talk about this. This time last cycle, Cardano was being very outperformed. But there it is. Well, last cycle in terms of market cap, Cardano was sitting at around number eight of market cap. Polkadot was number nine. And this is where we were. ADA was 15 cents. This cycle, right as I do the video, 65 cents. And, and right now, as we break down the data, you're going to start seeing a lot of similarities in terms of where Cardano is. And yes, that even means from an underperforming perspective. But check this out. And I talk about this a lot. If you zoom out on ADA, when we were at this moment last cycle, right here, December 2020, remember, Bitcoin breaking all-time highs, crypto looking really bullish, and look at this, a bunch of red candles in there for ADA. December 2020. But guess what? We didn't have smart contracts. We didn't have DeFi. We didn't have all of the steps towards a functional blockchain that we have now and a, just a, 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 an ecosystem that is blowing up and not only blowing up, doing so just in, a, in its own unique way, its own just secure and decentralized way. And these things are important in terms of the blockchain space. If you think, it's going to be all just meme coin hype and meme coin volume for the remainder of this bull cycle. I very much disagree with you. We are in that season right now. That is for sure. But how often do we see every cycle coins have their seasons? Right now, it's Solana season, Avalanche season. We've been in so many environments where it's been BNB season, where it's been XRP season. Guess what? We've been in environments where it's been Cardano season. Right now, it's, it's Solana season, Avalanche season. And right now, we see so many haters just piling in and critics piling in against Cardano, saying how just how useless and how, how much it's fading into nothing. 
And part of me wanting to do this video is to show you some data points, which we're showing you right now in terms of market cap. Cardano, a very similar area. Market cap, when it was last cycle, we'll look at the charts. You're going to be blown away by, by how just it is almost identical to what's happening even on the daily zoomed in chart. But not only that, the fundamentals are way different for Cardano right now. And in the blockchain space, for me as a value investor, that's important. That Cardano is just a, such a solid fundamental product and project. And check this out. Hosky over here the other day, as many of you saw, we have things like this happening. And this is important, especially now as Cardano gets its, getting a little phone call, Cardano's getting its, its critics attacking it because it's falling in market cap. It's a good, you know, it's a good time for them to throw their punches. But what's most important is things like this. 2024 brand intimacy ratings are in. Cardano takes 26 spot leading the blockchain sector with Bitcoin following at 30th. I just posted the other day, the massive challenge that Cardano faces is false data and the crypto media. And this is, this is basically things like analytics firms, which are funded by VCs. And these VCs have no exposure to Cardano. They have exposure to other projects. They're going to push false data and false narratives out there that are counterintuitive to Cardano to bolster their projects. And a perfect example is within my post, somebody commented and said Cardano is a sinking ship based on this data, crypto depth. And you can see they're posting this data here that is basically showing Cardano is not even in the top 10 by social activity. And I, I posted to them, they, they proved my point because crypto depth, as you see here, is, an, is a crypto investment firm. So it's kind of like, where, where is this data even coming from? And that's why I think this study or this, this intimacy ratings report is so useful right now to really give us not the surface layer view, not the VC driven view or perspective or narrative, but just a very data focused perspective of, of what is actually happening with Cardano. Cardano, if you're going to look at, if you're going to look at social activity, Cardano is, is basically number one. And that's what this, this report reveals as well. Cardano takes 26 spot leading the blockchain sector. So if we actually go, and we look, we go to the website, we can just go to rankings. You can check this out. Top brand intimacy rankings. You see all these big players, huge brands, Apple, Sony, YouTube. Number 26 is Cardano. The first crypto brand mentioned. And there's Bitcoin sitting at number 30. Do you think that's because Cardano is, is not in the top 10 in terms of social activity? It's quite the opposite. It's because, it's because Cardano has such an insane community and such an, an insane brand, not just from a blockchain perspective, but as a whole. It's number 26. This list goes on and on and on, everybody, into the hundreds. Cardano's sitting at number 26. Do you think that's because Cardano's fading into nothing? The narratives are certainly against Cardano right now. And, and because we have things like this from a, su a surface level, that is to say Avalanche just killing it, Solana killing it, it creates a very nice short-term opportunity for people to hate on Cardano, but it doesn't change the dynamics of how these markets work. This is normal, what, what we see here on this even chart, right? This is normal. But it also doesn't change where Cardano is from this market perspective. And here's another thing I just saw. This was earlier today. Cardano leading in developer activity among, amongst top L1s, consistently delivering the highest number of weekly commits, getting a nice fair shout out from into the block. This is another perspective I think is important to focus on. I realize that Cardano holders are like, dude, what is going on with Cardano right now? And all that I can sit here and do myself as I'm a, I'm a Cardano holder, Cardano bull, all that I can do is evaluate the data myself and try and answer the question, what is going on? And all that's going on is right now it's Solana season, it's Avalanche season, and Cardano is continuing to build as a blockchain. And as a value investor, I next take the step to go look at the charts. And then I can go over to the charts and let's, let's understand. We, we're trying to get a sense of where are we in this cycle? What's normal? What's not, what's not normal? Where is there divergence? What's going on? And we can answer that question here. And I'm going to dig into the daily chart and really show you how actually, how not only similar Cardano charts are right now to last cycle at this moment, but even how the next couple of weeks are incredibly important actually for ADA price. 
So let's let's jump into this. From a Bitcoin, from a Cardano price perspective, we have already just talked about how we're kind of in December 2020, right? So even look at this, this candle right here, this red candle. Let me zoom in so we can see this. This red candle that you see here, December 21st, 2020, the week of December 21st, 2020. Look at Cardano operating so poorly, right? And it looks so poor. It's just red candle, three red candles in there, and then a big wick to the downside. And then if we actually go and we look at Bitcoin on that week, week of 2021, December 2021, check out, check out that candle for, for Bitcoin. There's the week of December 14th right here, right? And then here's the week of December 21st. Look at Bitcoin just absolutely going crazy, exploding. And then Cardano, it's just not doing anything. This is exactly the vibe of what's occurring right now. Cardano, so far away from all-time highs. Not only that, every, things are going up and Cardano is falling. And we, go, we look at the daily chart, and this is what it looks like right now. Cardano right now, down from that swing high to where we are right now, down 19, 18% or so. But let's, let's dissect this. This is the move right now. Let's go look at the move back here in December for Cardano. This is what the daily chart looked like then. Swing high to swing low, down 30%. I've been talking about this a lot. But this is where things become important because if you, and it's not going to be, there's no clear, there's no definite, you know, it's not definite that Cardano is going to repeat this, what I'm about to show you. And I really want to make that clear. It's not definite that that's going to happen. But this is where technical analysis becomes very useful. And it has for me, you know, over the years, because when we're looking at a chart like this, and we're seeing, man, what did, what did Cardano do back then in terms of structure, in terms of breakouts, in terms of how it operated in general? We've already noted this is kind of what, what Cardano is doing right now. Is that to say, man, we get our 30% dip now, we're just going to bounce and we're going to finally have a breakout. It's not. It might not repeat exactly the same, but you truly do see the similarities, right? And so from that perspective, if we look at the structure even on these charts, this is what I'm watching for ADA. And this is why I think the, the coming weeks are very important because yeah, this was a consolidation phase for ADA, the downside, and then it, it finally did take off. The question I have right now is, is Cardano going to consolidate or finish the consolidation move and then take off and finally get the breakout out of the structure? This swing high, this higher high, very similar to swing high, higher high, breakout. That's what I'm watching right now in these charts. And one thing I wanted to point out on kind of this part of the video, the technical analysis part of the video, is if we zoom out here, and I want to go, I'm, I'm, I'm very zoomed out on the daily, but what I want to just make a note of, since we're comparing these two areas a lot, is if you look at this move back here in December 2020, and we look at this momentum oscillator, the RSI, check out the movement of the RSI on the daily because we're getting so many similarities in, in terms of the daily charts. Just kind of like this, this higher high that ADA put in after the 30% move to the downside. There's a higher high or higher low, I'm sorry, on the RSI. And then it bounced and that was the breakout move, right? So higher low, breakout move, there it is. If I scroll all the way over to where ADA is right now, on the RSI, you can see ADA on this slower moving momentum oscillator putting in a higher low. It's not at that yellow line. This is, this is where it bottomed out, the RSI last cycle at that 30% dip before the breakout. But you can see ADA is really approaching it. The similarities of the momentum of ADA right now uh, in, is just so insane to watch this. I don't know where this will, will, will bottom out, but I'm very much watching. Are we going to get a higher low for ADA, whether it's you know right now, whether it's down at the same exact line around 42? Are we going to get one or not? Or is ADA going to test this swing low back here that we had uh, in January? That is a really big piece of data that I'm watching for ADA as it tries to consolidate right now. But one thing is for sure, you notice this RSI just cooling down. All the while, we have things like Solana, uh, a Solana chart, if we go look at it, it's not cooled down, everybody. It's overbought and it's just going crazy. And I just want to say, this is something that is normal in the crypto space. We have a crypto like Solana or even Avalanche that is just absolutely 
dominating everything. And then we have something like polka dot, which is not overbought. It's just consolidating. It's even down. It's red. Or we have something like ADA, same thing. It's just what is going on? The, the very simple answer is it's normal. And that's not, you're going to have a lot of people out there. I know in the comments, they're not even going to watch this video and they'll, they'll comment, but they'll just say, this is coping, right? But for me, it, this is just data. I'm obviously a Cardano bull, but I, I really do like to understand these markets. And then the underlining dynamics of Cardano right now, the fundamentals, I think is, is so bullish. I think it's such a strong foundation to a really solid chart for this bull cycle. At the end of the day, it's not even Bitcoin having yet, right? Altcoin season really, it, this could truly just be the very beginning of altcoin season as it has in cycles past. The bull market doors being broken has been the beginning of alt season. We're right at the beginning. I don't want to be zoomed in on this chart or on, on the shorter term story. You know, it's, it's always going to be fluctuating, the top 10. Things going overbought while others are like not overbought at all. And then the others going overbought while that one cools down and we see a fluctuation of top 10. I don't want to be zoomed in on that. I want to zoom out, understand the larger picture that is happening right now. And not only that, I haven't even talked about everything that's going on with Cardano. I, I mean, I mention it, you know, I've mentioned about the DeFi ecosystem and what's happening, but I, I haven't even mentioned the actual things that are, that are happening. You know, they just got their first fiat back stable coin, huge news, altcoins. I mean, we're in a, we're in a bull market, the beginning of a bull market, altcoins that have launched and built on Cardano in the bear. They're, they're getting ready to get listed on centralized exchanges, which is going to, it's going to really help onboard and bridge the gap. To the larger crypto community there's there's so much other stuff from a technical perspective even scalability milestones that are going to be in play for cardano the decentralization milestones everything so that's just a zoomed out perspective and I, I i wanted to do this video i think it's incredibly important to give that perspective and i really do want to highlight this is not an emotional driven type of video it's not this is a data driven video and it doesn't just apply to cardano there's a bunch of there's a bunch of projects on here that this applies to in this season where we're seeing a ton of like meme coin hype meme coin volume i think it's very important to zoom out on the bigger story of crypto and the bigger story of these cycles so let me know your thoughts in the comments below everybody hit the subscribe hit that like i appreciate you cruising through i'll see you in the next video god bless